Hi, this is uh, Gülay Özkan. Uh, at the moment, I'm at uh, Singularity University uh, in the heart of Silicon Valley at the NASA MS Research Park. I am uh, with uh, Vivek. Uh, he's uh, head of research and innovation uh, of uh, Singularity University. Hello. Hi. Nice to, to be talking to you. Uh, thank you. Uh, I remember that when you um, decided to leave Harvard and join Singularity, uh, I would like to the way that you were like uh, uh, telling your reason, and I'd like to share with people. Well, you know, when you um, are in academia, when you live in uh, most places, you get very pessimistic about the future because you only see a little, little tiny fraction of it. When I came to Singularity University for the first time, I was completely blown away when I learned the advances that were happening in medicine, in energy, in uh, computing, nanotechnology. I started learning more and more about it. And I was completely astonished at how fast things were moving. And then I started realizing the opportunities that exist to save the world, really to, to, to solve the world's problems. And that's why I've spent so much time at Singularity University. This has become my, my primary base. I'm also at Stanford and Duke and Emory, and, and I do a lot of other things. But this is my passion, is, is the future of technology and trying to motivate entrepreneurs all over the world to start solving big problems. And uh, we are in the heart of uh, Silicon Valley, and uh, the essence of the culture here is quite different than the rest. And uh, how do you describe it? It's a culture of openness, sharing, risk taking, optimism. Uh, you know, believing that you can change the world. This is that's the beauty about Silicon Valley, and you don't see this anywhere else in the world. You have optimistic people in the world, uh, but then people don't share with each other. They don't. They they don't trust each other. You have uh, people who trust each other, and then they're pessimistic. They're all sort of, uh, they're all you know, dragging each other down. They don't have the resources that you have in Silicon Valley. This is why Silicon Valley is the most amazing place in the world to be, if you can be here. And uh, how do you see emerging markets uh, from here? Because it's different uh, looking at from emerging markets. You know, for example, uh, with India, let's just take India as an example. And the same thing applies to uh, Turkey and the Middle East and many others. India is about to undergo a revolution in technology like nowhere else in the world. What happened here during the dot-com boom, with the internet boom, is going to happen there because they're producing cheap tablets. Those cheap tablets are going to be available everywhere. So suddenly you will have devices that cost 30 or $40 that connect people to the world. You're going to have 3 billion more people coming online, which means that you're going to have an internet boom, you're going to have a social media boom, you're going to now have transformation in societies and in attitudes and so on. So the opportunities in the developing world to start using these technologies to solve not only their own problems, but the problems of their country and the problems of the world. This is the exciting thing. That's, this is what's possible today. Uh, do you think technology developed in, in Silicon Valley uh, somehow will help the world's problems, mainly in, in emerging markets? Or basically the, the, this cliche question, can Silicon Valley uh, save the world? You know, the, uh, I'm so optimistic about Silicon Valley. I say good things about Silicon Valley, but Silicon Valley is also imperfect. That Silicon Valley focuses on its own problems. It doesn't understand the needs of the developing world. So the opportunity here is for people in the developing world to solve their own problems. Why, does, why do people in Turkey have to depend on people in Silicon Valley f to do that? They can learn the advances that are happening over here. Right now, the beauty of, of technologies is that they've democratized. The same knowledge that's available here is available anywhere and everywhere else in the world because of the internet. Mm -hmm. So that entrepreneurs in, um, in uh, uh, Turkey, the Middle East, Africa, India, China can start learning about the advances that are happening in Silicon Valley and applying them to their own countries and solving their own problems. And they'll probably come up with many better ideas than the, the, the Silicon Valley can come up for their needs. So Silicon Valley will continue to, to lead in innovation and come up with amazing ideas. It will not come up with practical solutions for the developing world. That's what entrepreneurs have to do. And uh, come up with their own uh, solutions. They know, the, they, know the, they know their own problems. Mm -hmm. One of the teams here at Singularity University, which I'm helping, is, taking, uh, uh, is creating a roadmap for women in Latin America. They're basically teaching them how they can grow their small businesses into middle businesses, how they can network with each other, how they can form groups. It's providing them with basic knowledge about businesses and, and rules and things like that. And it's giving them tablets so that they can connect with each other. We're taking tablets from India to Latin America to enable them to solve their own problems. So this is what's possible right now, using you know, what you learn here in Silicon Valley, applying it to the needs of, of Latin American women. 
because the women over there have different needs and different problems than the women over here have. My last question is about your la uh, last book, uh, Immigrant Exodus. And um, you are really leading these discussions uh, in US and talking to many people. Uh, what's your observation so far and then your motivation basically behind this? You know, uh, when people think of Silicon Valley, think of California, they think that it's ruled by Americans. 52% of the startups in Silicon Valley were founded by immigrants, people born abroad. The reason why Silicon Valley thrives is because there are people like you and me over here who come here, who speak different languages, who have different experiences, who now are very highly motivated to succeed. They work together with each, they work with each other, and then they work with Americans. And that creates a culture of sharing and competition and you know, creates a magic that you can't replicate anywhere else in the world. So this is you know, the, the, the amazing thing over here. And this is what we need, we need to start doing in other countries, is to start getting people to share information, to help each other, and to solve big problems. Okay, thank you very much.